Hey there, good Monday and all, and yes, it's been a very busy weekend, but I got a new subscriber and this guy's pretty awesome, and thank you so much, Darren, and as I always tell people, I keep my promises, and I'm all about integrity. Integrity. And notifications pop up and everything, we've had some interactions, but Darren, I can't say your last name, dude, sorry if I'm a, I'm a jackass, but Darren, it's P, Piazarak, and Piazarak, or, you know, Darren, you're cool, <laughs> sorry, but yeah, here it is, uh, um, funny part on YouTube, this, uh, this bootleg Gandalf is pretty fun, and Bob Ross is legend. I'm not sure why this ASMR is here for, but damn, look at that. And yeah, more rings of power clips right here and the bearded bro show guys. But yeah, Darren, thank you. You're awesome. And I had to pull this up real quick because uh, look at this headline and this, this just makes me smile when it's Lord of the Rings, the Rings of Power's audience shrank every week. And I'm like, well, 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 well. But real quick, Darren, you said to me uh, in one comment that try some Mountain Dew and uh, some of this vodka here. Unfortunately, because I'm in New York, I'm not sure why they're not making Mountain Dew uh, zero and two liters. So I got a six pack from Walmart. And yeah, I've been trying to drink more zero because I don't look like it, but I've gained five pounds and, you know, not a big deal for some people. But uh, yeah, when you're trying to lose friggin' weight and Thanksgiving's coming up, so. Because I feel fucking fat. But yeah, the past few days I've been working on my, uh, my Woke of Power review. Hopefully it'll be out tomorrow. And I've been busy because I didn't realize when you make a 45 minute video, it takes you 10 fucking hours to edit. And I'm not joking, but why so long for just finding clips, finding clips, downloading stuff, trying to get things along. And then when I drank an entire bottle of vodka, I started throwing words like this and repeating yourself. And it's funny, but I'm trying to make it coherent as well. So yeah. But yeah, for you, Darren, just said, this is the premium vodka with some Mountain Dew Zero and shit. Let's see how this tastes. So check this out. That is some good Mountain Dew vodka. Yeah. Thanks, my friend. I appreciate it. So before we get into this, yeah, it's a, it, when you watch my, my, I call it the Woke of Power. Do you mean Woke? I did mean Woke. My Woke of Power review. I'm a lot more forgiving than I am right now because I just got off a 12 hour day of work and I'm pretty pissed off and I'm not in a good fucking mood. When you have an entire bottle of vodka and you watch a show, you're a lot more forgiving. So. Yeah, after wasting... That was literally the worst 10 hours of my life. 10 hours of my life watching that bullshit season, and now another 10 hours of my life editing a video for that bullshit season. When I see, you know, articles like this, I'm pretty fucking happy. I hate that show. Me too. I'm gonna drink some more of this. Thanks, Darren. And enjoy the intro. Oh yeah, some good Mountain Dew and vodka. So here we go. This comes from CBR. And now a new report suggests that viewership from Amazon Prime Videos, The Lord of the Rings, The Woke of Power, steadily declined with each new episode. And I'm so happy. I am so happy. New reports show that the viewership from Amazon Prime Videos, The Lord of the Rings, yeah, we get that part, says it contracted every week during its inaugural eight episode run. Now, according to analysis from Variety, Nielsen reports indicate that the show earned 1% fewer minutes streamed every consecutive week, with excuse me, comparatively few, comparatively few viewers starting the show in the weeks after it premiered. Less viewers or fewer viewers? Remember, this show, episode one, episode two, came out off the bat, and so people just watched two because they were back-to-back -back and want to check it out. I didn't. I just wanted to wait to binge it and hate my life. But <laughs> The show also seemed to have its largest drop-off, after its first two weeks, which showed it declined around 20%. This suggests that a good amount of viewers who streamed the Rings of Power early on gave up on it pretty soon afterwards. So right there, week one had two episodes, week two had episode three, and people were just tuning out left and right. Of course, it was going to have big numbers off the bat since everyone's like, hey, billion dollar show, and you know what's all the buzz, and is it as bad as we anticipated? And don't worry, it's worse. It's even worse than I imagined. They're talking about that the Nielsen's metrics only measure U.S. viewership connected to televisions, excluding viewers streaming on other types of devices. The visible downward trend is notable in the trade analysis, but they're saying the Rings of Power is still making a victory of its impressive early viewership numbers. And here's the problem. According to, according to of course, Amazon, the prequel series saw an impressive 25 million viewers in the first 24 hours after its premiere. Impressive. According to Amazon, they could be a lion and... The numbers made it to Prime Video's most watched series premiere to date. Okay, but here's the problem is, 
that's the first 24 hours. Yeah, it's like that's not any kind of longevity. My thing is, even me, you know, I can last a good 45 seconds. Doesn't mean I can last the whole five minutes it takes to please a woman. He's probably going to cry after. I've never pleased a woman, not five minutes or anything. But, however, the show also saw a spike in demand following October 14th series fin finale. According to Parrot Analytics, it was an impressive 55.7 times increase in viewership, which was an all-time high viewership number for season one of the show. So basically the finale. People wanted to see how it ended. And don't worry, it ended pretty fucking terrible. It's a piece of shit. Those numbers may bode well for season two, which officially has begun filming outside of London. And the producer, Lindsay Weber, oh boy, also teased the show creators have some epic things in store for the new episodes, saying that it's only going to be grittier, more intense, maybe a little scarier. It gets worse. Now that Sauron's true identity is finally out in the open, yeah, the identity we've seen from a fucking mile away, lady. Ah, uh, it's pretty fucking obvious, hey. lady. The big plans for season two, and uh, truth be told, I don't care about the criticisms. I mean, let's see. The cake, audiences, certainly. Audience response, yeah. Certainly, you look at the audience response, it wasn't good, bro. <laughs> People hate it. You see what characters people love? None of them. <laughs> what kinds of storytelling moves them? What storytelling? That story sucks. And explaining that, while he and McKay aren't overcorrecting for any of it, they are listening to people's responses. I highly fucking doubt that by the responses I've seen on Twitter and YouTube comment section, TikTok, Facebook, and the like. Because you're in denial. Yeah, I just want to give a quick video, a quick shout out. And as I said, I'm just going to make this something, you know, real fast and try to finish my freaking Woke Power review by tomorrow because tomorrow is Tuesday, October, well, October, Jesus, drinking and losing track of time, uh, November 8th and God of War Ragnarok comes out and I'm going to start talking about God of War Ragnarok. I'm setting up some streams going and I'll get into that tomorrow. Okay. But yeah, Darren, thanks dude. As I've said to you and anybody watching this, whenever my phone goes off and it pops up and the YouTube thing is on there, I can't always get to it because I'm stuck working. But best we when I say and wholeheartedly mean this, that it makes work almost fucking bearable. Keyword is almost. What makes work bearable is coming home and I get to drink Mountain Dew and vodka. It tastes so good. Love you, Darren. Anybody else watching this stuff, let me finish this, edit this stuff, and then get back to my woke of power. And then, as always, I'm going to pull out friggin' Bender. Hope you like it. Let's get some vodka going. And you ready? This calls for a drink. Ah, that is really freaking good. Thanks, buddy. And I'm heading back to work.